Hello and welcome to another update about Harmony One. So all, I uh, hope you all enjoy a long weekend. I know it may, maybe not in all parts of the world you've got a bank holiday today, but in many parts of the world, including here the uh, UK in which I currently am. Um, for me, that means it's only three more days of work this week. Just joking. Of course it is, but it's. Um, <clears throat> I seriously enjoy the stuff I'm doing here. I seriously love it. You're a great community. So... Thanks for that. And maybe on this weekend, we can already break the 48,000, um, not dollar for Bitcoin, but the 48,000 subscribers. So thanks uh, all of you for all your massive support. Um, we haven't even started a year ago. So I think the channel started in May or June. So it's just fantastic. Um, in a year where we actually didn't make massive new autumn time highs for many coins. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic. Not in not even a year nearly 50k um let's see where we are in may or june but again thanks to all your support a lot of requests for a harmony one update um what i wanted to do because there are many many new people on this channel as well and we're currently in a difficult in a very difficult market environment i just wanted to show you what or what my outlook for harmony one was back in january first of january new year 2022 when i analyzed harmony one i think for the first time from an elliott wave point of view and what actually the outcome was and where it did lead to. A lot of people liked those um, replays and liked those um, time, um, how do you call it, the time-lapse videos. So we're gonna take, we're gonna do that again because yeah, a lot of positive feedback for that. And what I really wanna do on this channel is first of all, and that is so useful, I think for everybody who's new in the space, but also for everybody who's in the space for a while and it just needs a bit of a reminder that patience is so important in this space. and that the space or generally cryptos, especially Harmony One has been, um, is very volatile and there are ups and downs and it's important to deal with your emotions in a certain way, you need to be patient and often there is no reason to FOMO in and typically there's always another entry point. And I also want to show on this channel with, with really passionate, in a really passionate way, that in my view, when applied correctly, and that de depends on the application, yeah, because everybody can make mistakes. Of course, I do mistakes as well. Uh, I make mistakes as well. When applied correctly, the Elliott Wave method can predict price moves ahead, weeks ahead, months ahead, as accurately as no other method that I at least know of, more accurately than any other method, um, the price moves that will happen in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. Yeah. So let's take a look at what I actually um, talked about in this video here, which is from the 1st of January. So let me just um, do that. All right. I think we are based on that wave count and what other cryptos are doing. I think we are starting this. Um, we're going to start this correction down soon, but it would be expected to first move up a little bit more before we then move down and um, let's see if that's going to play out and from there on then we can bring these indicators you know they need to be low to really bring it to new automat i don't think you know with, with honestly if we have here a weekly rsi on this level uh, at, at around 60 you, you, it's just so hard to make a a one dollar harmony one right you want to bring them down first before you can do it so i think back back in the day <laughs> the the target area here in blue was actually a little bit higher. I started it already at the previous low, this wave A low, because this is the minimum it had to do in the retracement, but I then narrowed it down a little bit later as we saw the price come down. So let's take a look at what actually happened. And bear in mind, this was the 1st of January. And um, yeah, back, back then I had a target area up here for further price increases and then to come down in this area. Bear in mind or imagine how difficult it was back here for me to remain bearish and to talk to people and <laughs> try to explain that in my view, we are here in a wave B, in a corrective wave, because a wave B is corrective before we come down once more. I had a lot of comments in the yeah comment section. We will never see a, a 12 cent harmony one again and that I'm crazy and whatever, but see what happened. This was, by the way, the area where we took profits as well. So a lot of my sale order or sell orders that you can find on Discord, if you're a channel member, were located in this area for Harmony One, because I assumed that we would reverse here. Of course, I never know. So I had, of course, I left a little bit of my Harmony One position open. 
But there you go. We went to the all-time high, which is pretty much the maximum a wave B can do. It can do a little bit more. That would then be an overshooting wave B. But that was the absolute limit. And here we saw the forecasted downtrend begin. And uh, here at least, again, a lot of people didn't believe that we would get into that blue target area down there. Um, did not even really care about the 50-day moving average there in orange. Did not really care about the 200-day moving average in yellow. Um, so a bit of a reaction to it, then moved sideways for a while. And however, what you could see then is that in the end, we did bang, get into the target area between the 78.6% FIB level and the 88.7% FIB level. And here we bounced a lot around this support level, um, which actually provided support already early in December. And, but it was a very clear bear flag, wasn't it? So you can see that long, long flagpole and here we formed even something like a triangle, I think, or yeah, bearish flag. And in the end, we could not get above the 200 day moving average anymore. And also this was a FIB level here. I think the 61.8, the most relevant Fibonacci level. So I saw a little bit of a move up. And again, a lot of people got bullish again um, when we moved above the 200 day moving average. But in the end, we didn't maintain it. Yeah, so the price made a little bit of a move up. And bear in mind, that's what I always say, you, you short term upside is always possible. It's a volatile space, so nothing moves in a straight line. But if you have a um, an understanding of the charts, and if you know that a typically an ABC correction, you need to make that lower low. Otherwise, you can't really have a lot of trust in the chart. You can't because um, you, you typically need to reset these indicators. And when I have to choose between various cryptocurrencies, I would typically choose the one that has completed the correction. And there you go. We then lost that support found a bit more support at the previous low of the wave A, and that was it then. We came finally into that target area. And as I said, no other method is as good as the Elliott wave method. If you get the wave count right, and then in that area we turned around. So I expected a correction, uh, I spe expected a reaction to that target area. Now there was a fairly strong reaction, as it typically is, because this is where a cryptocurrency has a chance already to turn around yeah, in a wave two, which this one would be an ABC, but an ABC in this case, part of that second wave of that wave two. Um, here the, the crypto had a chance to turn around already. So the minimum requirements for the correction are complete, but this doesn't mean that the correction necessarily must be complete as well, right? It's, it's like, you know, you complete the minimum requirements, but that doesn't mean it has to go up. It just means it can go up from here. And if it goes up, then we can have more trust in the chart. Okay, and um, so of course there is still downside potential. That's why I had that line there, that 17.2 cent level that where, where we had support before, massive support. This is also the 61.8% FIB level in red here. Now, if the price doesn't move above it, there is still serious downside potential. And um, yeah, this would at least be where you at least would need to move beyond or above before you actually can expect a, um, yeah, or it can be more certain that the low was already in. So for now, the chart doesn't look very strong. We made lower highs here throughout, and even the last high here, I think bounced off the 50 day moving average. So you make lower highs throughout, you still make lower lows, yeah? And here, that was the first time where we actually made a higher low and where we tried to, to get through again. So a bit, bit like a cup and handle thing, but the possible handle actually, again, came down a little bit too much. So we then came down once more and I think I'm gonna close this now, stop this now, because otherwise it will take on forever. But this is where we currently are. We came down in the area once more, as I already said in the last video that we touched it again, came into it again, but haven't made a lower low. So theoretically, in terms of the wave count, we could at the moment count all of this here as a five wave move down. You have your one, two, wave three, four, five, so this would be the wave C because the wave C itself consists of five waves. And you would then have here your one, two and another wave one, two. That would be the bullish count. But how likely is it? I don't think it is very likely. I rather think we haven't actually completed this wave C yet. And that we are going to see once more a lower price level, especially as we already, I mean, how many one is already in the target area? A lot of cryptos aren't um, yet or are just touching it. Yeah, like how many one? But really, if you see to the downside, it now has still space to move down to the 8 cent level, which is here 8.2 cents, the 
uh, 88.2% FIB level. That is the other FIB level where you would expect the price to turn around. So somewhere here in this price area between the 78.6% FIB level, which is at 11.6 cents and the 88.7, which is down here pretty much at 8 cents. Somewhere in this region, the price ideally turns around. That's what I would hope for because that would be best for the chart. If we drop any lower, well, then we are going to see probably here the price around the beginning of that wave count, which would be here 4.4 cents. So that would be the worst case. And um, it would be my personal worst case. I mean, I don't think the price is going to go lower than 4.4 cents. Obviously, you probably know my scenario for Bitcoin, where I expect Bitcoin still to go below 30K to also do what Harmony One did, basically to complete this correction to make this lower low. Um, the problem is, though, that if Bitcoin gets there and Harmony One stays at the current level, I mean, it can move to, as I said, to 8 cents. So it's got a bit of a buffer, but that's only like a 28%. So given that altcoins are normally more volatile than Bitcoin, you would expect probably even a price below 8 cents if Harmony doesn't suddenly start to move up a little bit and build a bit of a buffer. So yeah, that can have quite a bit of an impact on um, on all of that. So that's my view here currently. I don't that the price currently doesn't look strong at all. Yeah. So we still see weakness here in the chart, weakness in the price. Um, and for now, I don't think the correction is over, to be honest. Um, I don't think so. Also have to relate it a little bit to Bitcoin and for Bitcoin, where I do expect another sell off fairly soon. As I always say, nothing moves in a straight line. So short term upside is possible at any time. But I mean, what is interesting for most people is, is the lower already in and can we go to new all time highs? And from my point of view for Bitcoin, not yet. <clears throat> and therefore also here for, for Harmony One, I think there is still more space to the downside. Um, and as you can see in that whole move down here, when I told you that we are going to get here again, where people got very bullish here in this range, it's very hard to stay consistent. But yeah, I mean, I've never taken that target area out of the chart and we eventually got there. So if you see some short term upside potential, this is always possible and short term upside anyway. So without a problem, we could get to 17 and a half cent again, 17.2. To do that, I would be very confident we could get there but only if we break above the 50 day moving average. So if we see a break above that level, I think that could be a first breakout point where we could get to that 17.2 cent level. Um, other than that, we're currently making here lower lows, lower lows, lower lows. We've now seen a little bit of a, an attempt to make a higher low, but we want to see now a higher high as well. So you want to get at least above 13.4 cents uh, to start a new attempt of an uptrend um, for anyone who's interested in the more short term price moves but i think there is still a lot of space to the downside and harmony one could get there without a problem all right that's my view on harmony one hopefully you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then check out the channel membership where you can get access to the telegram live chat rooms the discord server a weekly live stream also make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter you can find the links in the description and hopefully you like the video and yeah see you in the next one Bye bye